Okay, over here at Old 54, I got the generator down here. I haven't done any cutting yet today, but I brung it. It's only up here at the house, so, but anyway. Brung it down. And, uh, I was down here working, and, uh, Dave came down, seen what I was doing, and he helped me. And look, we got all the wiring done. Well, not complete, but it's all the way to the front. This all wire, it's got to come out. One wire at a time. So I come down here. We got to figure out where it goes in here. Pull all the switches. And don't get them screwed. If you're not very good at wiring. This is just something. That, was a, that went to the door. But anyway. Not good wiring. Get someone else to do this part. But I'll show you what I mean. That popped off. I know you can't see in there very good. Crap. No that mess. But if you take your time, make sure it's off this time. Take your time, it'll come out looking like this. And you don't want to get rid of on these models, you don't want to get rid of that wire or that wire. You got to look before you start cutting, people. Because that wire... See it? And the other one's out there too. It's a turn signal. See it down there? On, uh, right back behind the stop sign. Turns out there ain't nothing else. That's a lot... Let people know if you're in, uh, if you're pulling up and there's two lanes and it's a sharp bend, you can, you're allowed to be in the left lane to turn because you've got a wide turn. Had all this apart, put it back together, we'd set the wire. Wire's a little tight, but there it is. That's all, that's all got to be put back into so, uh, a housing. It's just setting up there for now. Set this back on. Got all the wires out of there. Zip. Actually, we can take your zip ties. I had them all the way, the zip tie. And I had some greens up front, but. And then, well, what I'm going to do, a lot of people are probably leaving the, all this behind the wall. I'm going to put it in some type of. Probably that black stuff that you see in cars. Then I'm going to put it in some type of... It's a uh, for wiring that you can put on the outside of the wall and snap it on or whatever. That's going to be... It'll come... It'll be here. All this can be hanging out in here. Because this is utility room. Utility room, remember? But then inside it's going to be on the outside of the wall. It'll be on the outside of the wall all the way up to here. And then it's going to go in there, so. Them in there. This right here, if you see, if, if I'm not talking about it and you're seeing them. These are just uh, wire... That one actually goes to a light outside, and there's one here. It was a running light. I'm going to take them off. Don't need them. It's only two. And then all the rest of this one right here is a window sensor. This one, uh, I still got to take off the uh, buzzer. So, this is how they originally were on. I could probably get something like this. All this is, is, you see it there, I had a hole. I'm going to try to find one, I pulled it off right here. This popped in this hole. And then it got zip tied on. This is a door, door buzzer, or window buzzer. You got a, a lot. 
wire over here. That was uh, this. We got. Remember, you got to keep that one. Window buzzer, and then window buzzer should be. I, I think I got four safety windows left. Hatches, and what I mean by safety window, all the newer buses. You pick up on this. And what we're going to try to do is make them look like a night. Or we're going to, I'm going to try to make them work like a night, early 1900s uh, car. If you look, look, look at a, say a 19. Trying to, trying to stare you right. Let's say a 1932 Deuce Coupe or a 30, 1932 Ford Model A, whatever. They had something where the front window, because they didn't have AC, front window would come out and it would have pieces that held it. So what I'm thinking about doing is having it open, then having something where it'll hold that window open at certain certain spots. We got two windows back there, two windows here. We got six, eight, ten windows. I think this was a 22 window bus. Ten windows, one, two, three. It went at six here, six here, six. Yeah, 22 window. So. But it's coming along, that's what I said. Just take your time on the wiring. And make sure that, uh, just don't go willy nilly. I'm going to try to say I got to get this wrap off carefully without cutting the wire. Start figuring where all that is. Get all that out. And then I can go through this and see what I need and I don't need. I'm going to leave it all in here because so, you can use these switches for other stuff. But I want to make like, like it's got a fan here. I'm going to leave all that stuff's going to stay hooked up. We're just going to repurpose it. And i got to get something it's solid here. Well, mostly solid. It's starting to crack a little bit. But that's got to be screwed down or something. Because you can hear it when I walk. We well, can really hear it there. But this has got, that's got to be patched. I knew that. So, that's what we're doing. Alright, got a whole bunch of wires hanging here and a whole box is going. It all goes back together. I'm working on this wiring right now. Getting rid of the uh, light wiring. It's going to that panel up there. Try to keep the panel and just get rid of the wiring. Some of it. Okay, got a, uh, Dave helped me and got, cut the ends off. We got all the other uh, wire. From this panel off. That's the other one I gotta cut. Anyway. I tried to save the panel. The only thing that's unhooked off of this. Is the. Uh, the front and back. Uh, flashers. Everything else still hooked up. So. See if it still works. And don't. Here ringing, probably, probably my phone. Anyway, uh, if not, I can delete it. Pull them wires down and get rid of them. But anyway, for now, that's done. All the wiring here is tightened up. Uh, it's all looking pretty good. So, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, thumbs down. Please subscribe, watch a couple videos if you like, and then uh, bye till later.